Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are watching our channel for the first time, please click on the subscribe button and bell icon to receive new updates from us. Today, I am going to explain 7th class chapter 1 integers exercise 1. See the first sum now. Some integers are marked on the number line. Here, 2 is the biggest integer. Why? Because positive numbers all are bigger integers compared to negative integers. So here 2 numbers they marked 2 and minus 3. So 2 is a positive integer. That's why it is the biggest integer. And negative numbers are smaller. So minus 3 is the smallest integer. See the second sum now. Write the integers between the pairs of integers given below. Also choose the biggest and smallest integers from them. Here first pair is minus 5 and minus 10. So what are the integers between them is minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9. Among the two integers minus 5 and minus 10 which is the greatest integer? So when we compare two negative integers, smallest negative integer will be big number. And greatest integer will be smallest in number. So the biggest integer is minus 5 and smallest integer is minus 10. See the next pair 3 and minus 2. What are the integers between them? That is 2, 1, 0, minus. Now between 3 and minus 2 which is the biggest integer? Biggest integer is 3. And the smallest integer is minus 2. Why? Because positive integer will be biggest number. And negative numbers are smallest integers. See the next pair minus 8 and 5. We must write the integers between them. Minus 7. Minus 6. Minus 5. Minus 4. Minus 3. Minus 2. Minus 1. 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the integers present between the pair of integers minus 8 and 5. Here 5 is the biggest integer and minus 8 is the smallest integer. See the third sum. Write the following integers in ascending order. Ascending order means arranging the numbers from smallest to biggest. See the first bit minus 5, 2, 1, minus 8. These numbers we have to arrange them in ascending order. So, which is the smallest integer among all the four numbers? If you remember the number line from left to right, remember the integers order so that we can arrange the integers in ascending order easily. So, which number we will get on the number line first? Minus 8. Then after from left to right, which number we will observe? Minus 5. Then 1, then after 2. So, this is the ascending order of those numbers. See the second one. Remember the number line now. So which number will get first? Among all the three negative integers, minus 5 will get first. So write down minus 5 is smallest. Then after minus 4. Then after minus 3. Then 2. So this is the ascending order of this. Next see third one. In number line which one will come first? From left to right. Minus 15 we will get first. So that is the smallest integer. Then after minus 10, then after minus 7. So this is the ascending order of the given questions. See now fourth question. Write the following integers in descending order. So descending order means arranging the numbers from biggest to smallest. Let us see the numbers here. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. We have to arrange them in descending order. Remember the numbers on the number line. Now we have to write from right to left side if you write those integers. So that will become our descending order. So from right to left which number will come first for us? Minus 2. Then minus 3. Then after minus 5. So we arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. See the second question minus 8, minus 2, minus 1. On the number line right to left which digit will come first? Minus 1. Then after minus 2, then after minus 8 we will get. So this is the descending order, big to small. See the next one, 5, 8, minus 2. 
From number line right to left, which one will come first for us? 8. Then after you will get 5. Then after minus 2. So big to small. That is descending order. We arrange the numbers. See now fifth question. Represent 6, minus 4, 0 and 4 on a number line. First we shall take a number line from minus 6 to plus 6. So mark now plus 6 on the number line. Next minus 4, 0 and 4. So we have marked on the number line. Now let us see the sixth question. Fill the missing integers on the number line given below. Here they marked minus 9, minus 5, 0, 4 and 8 on the number line. They have given spaces. We must fill those integers on the number line. Minus 9 before. Add on minus 8, minus 7, minus 6. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. 0 after 1, 2, 3, 4 already given. 5, 6, 7, 8 already given. And finally 9. These are the missing integers on the number line given. See the 7th sum now. The temperatures of 5 cities in India on a particular day are shown on the number line below. See here. Kazoli, Manali, Nainital, Uti and Bangalore, they marked on the number line. See the first question, write the temperatures of the cities marked on it. See here Kazoli, so 10 before which number that is minus 9, so the temperature is minus 9 degrees Celsius. Next Manali, that is minus 7 degrees Celsius. Nainital, that is minus 3 degrees Celsius. Uti, they have given... 15 degrees Celsius and Bangalore is 20 degrees Celsius. Now let us see remaining questions in this. See the second one. Which city has the highest temperature? Bangalore that is 20 degrees Celsius. So write an answer Bangalore. See the third question. Which city has the lowest temperature? Kazoli that is minus 9 degrees Celsius. See now fourth one. Which cities have temperature less than 0 degree Celsius? See the number line 0 below which three cities were there. Those are Nainital, Manali and Kazoli. So write down their names. Nainital, Manali and Kazoli. See fifth one, name the cities with temperatures more than 0 degree Celsius. Observe the number line, 0 above which two cities were present, Uti and Bangalore. So write down their names, Uti and Bangalore. Today we learned 7th class chapter 1 integers, first exercise 1 to 7 sums in detail. We shall see Next exercise in the next session. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.